Hi, my name's Lawrence, and ironically, um, in a year where the world shut down, I can finally join a Dock of the Bay event. Um, so, apologies for my accent. You might have guessed that I'm not a North Carolina resident or a local. Um, so, how did this all begin? Well, my association to the Eastern 4-H Centre began when I was hired in the summer of 2007 um, as a cabin counsellor. I was at the time 19 and I remember arriving in Raleigh Airport not really knowing what to expect for that summer. Um, but due to those experiences, I ended up returning for five more summers. Having worked those five summers, it is clear that the centre benefits from benefits people of all ages and backgrounds across North East and North Carolina and beyond. It was clear from the beginning that the centre achieves its goals by ensuring that the highest calibre of dedicated and professional staff are employed to ensure all users of the centre get the best experience possible. For me, since those summers, I've now graduated university with a degree in outdoor education, something that I would never have done if it wasn't for my own personal experiences. And since those summers and graduating, I've always worked with young people back here in England. This, taking on the degree and working with young people, can all be pinned to one event, one camp that we ran um, at the Eastern 4-H Centre, and that was the Operation Purple Camp. Um, that was my light bulb moment for me, where I realised that working with young people um, is what I wanted to do and as a result what I pursued. Um, people often know that I worked in at the Eastern 4-H Centre and they say um, would I recommend it and I think to anyone who's at college age um, thinking about it as well my advice would be what I still say to my students even now is to do it and your only regret at the end of it would be that you didn't. You have your life-changing moments and you really will make friends for life um, through the work. Um, so the transformative thing for me um, that about working at the Eastern 4-H Centre was always seeing the young people arrive on a Sunday and leave on a Friday, having learned a new skill, a new piece of knowledge, gain confidence or gain new friends or a combination of all of those. A telling sign that it was working was always the tears on a Friday when it came to goodbyes. I hope in the future that the centre continues to contribute these priceless opportunities for all and continues to receive the back end to grow from strength to strength.